So imagine you're me, Orbini, and I'm you, Orbini's best friend. And I, you, said, Orbini, you're new to sewing, aren't you? And you, being me, said, yeah, but I feel like I'm getting quite good. And me, being you, said, well, no doubt. But uh, you've got a couple projects on your plate, so why don't you slow down? And you, being Orbi in this situation, said, I've fallen down a rabbit hole of historical costuming, and after watching every Bernadette Banner video on historical accuracy in film and TV, I feel like I could do that. And me, being you, would say, you know, gently discourage you, me, from doing that. But of course, you, me, is never going to heed that warning and instead will barrel full force into a project that is no doubt going to make you, me, you, me cry tears of frustration at least once. I found several resources on how to pattern draft 18th century stays here on YouTube, one of which is Michelle Fitzgerald's arc drafting patterning class. You have no idea how long it took me to say that properly. And Mariah Patty's secret formula for drafting stays. Both of these are linked in the description for you, but with uh, Michelle's video, I watched it at double speed with the subtitles on. Honestly, the YouTube algo has been knocking it out of the park because I found so many cool sewists and historians who have a wealth of knowledge to share, and I don't have to feel like I'm constantly reinventing the wheel when I'm too scared to ask a question in a group chat. Or maybe I'm too proud to ask a question in a group chat. I mean, I'm definitely scared, but it could also be the other thing, like maybe, like, you know what? I'm not psychoanalyzing myself on camera for you. I'm not your dancing monkey. I really tried with Mariah Patty's formula, but the math was just too much for me. Like, for some reason, I didn't record the part where I figured out, you know, the actual formula. I used a couple more resources like Red Threaded, and I looked at their stays pattern as references for where I should put the boning and the hip tabs, as well as Simplicity 8162 on American Duchess's website. Although I didn't buy either of those patterns because as a general rule, I don't use paper patterns. I just one day started watching The Closet Historian and was like, yeah, babes, let's go. My unbridled self-delusion has lasted me through 32 years of my life, and watching those videos made me think I could definitely just do that. I could draft a basic bodice block, which I have, and I could make a corset top, which I have, and I could film those things and put them on YouTube, which I have, and since I did those things, I could definitely do more things like make a historical costume from my favorite period in fashion history and film it on, put it on YouTube for all the townspeople to point and laugh. <laughs> um, to make each panel, I literally just tried some shit and I'm gonna mock it up. I'm gonna make several mock-ups. Like, I really don't know how many mock-ups I'm gonna need. So, this is <laughs> just guessing. It's just guessing. <laughs> if you're worried. But other than that, I think it's going to go well. <laughs> it, it can't go disastrously. Because it's just sewing. It's just fabric. And I can reuse the boning. That's fine. One of the reasons I decided to make stays is because in order to get a proper silhouette for my favorite period in historical fashion, I would at first need stays and then panniers, and once I have those, I could just make dresses to go over them. I also don't have any bras, and I don't know my bra size. I just wear bralettes and crop tops, and I fluctuated in weight so much that even they don't fit me. I was just going to devote a whole video to making bralettes that fit me, but then I realized soon they wouldn't fit me, and even if they did fit me, modern bras and bralettes do not support people with bigger busts, but damn, wouldn't it be nice to have something adjustable, something that supports, lifts, and moves with my body, that doesn't crush my rib cage and hurt my chest? I wonder if they've invented something like that. But saying that, I've recently fallen in love with the trend of wearing just a shift and stays. I wonder what that means for this video. Who can tell? You're just going to have to stick around and find out. So after this, I got so frustrated that I took an whatever the gap is between Friday the April the 12th and Sunday May the 5th because it was just too much. It was just too much for me. I just couldn't handle it. And then I started draping something else and I like put the footage in here and I was like, what is that doing? Where is that coming from? And I got so confused because it's like a month ago. Well, even more than a month ago, actually. It was almost two months ago. If you're perchance wondering if I sketch my designs before I make them, the answer is yes and no. Uh, 
I actually use this free Mac program called Freeform, which is basically a vector program. And so I do like a vector of what I'm going to make in that program. And it never turns out like what I actually make. And it looks terrible. So I'll show you right now. <laughs> but wait, I did make a sketch and it looked like this. Ugh. <laughs> I never know whether to give actual instructions on what I'm doing because like no one's coming to me for instructions on how to make things. But also, you know, it might be nice for you to get a little bit of instruction. Wait, let me just... Moment of truth. Obviously there's no boning in it or anything. Well, it won't fit over my boobs. Did I do it right? Did I not do it right? That's right. I don't know. What is going on? Back to the fucking drawing board with this shit. It's draping time. And this is the part where I talk to you for a whole two minutes straight while I show you how I draped things. So first I really just like put a piece of muslin up to myself and just drew my body on it. I drew the places where I wanted the fabric to sit, like, you know, under my arms. I don't want it too close to my armpits because I actually like a bit of room there. And uh, the collar area and, you know, where it hits my belly button. And that's also how I found out that my belly button is off center. So if you noticed that, cookie for you. So I showed everyone how to do this in my video where I'm just like, it's something like a pattern drafting by draping on myself or something like that. I think I changed the title of it. And I got like 600 views on that, which makes me feel a bit weird because it's not a very good video. And I wanted to make up for it by actually showing you how I drape things on myself. No, drape, dra drape. Is that the right term? Oh, I don't even know. I don't think anyone, no one should be looking to me for instructions on how to do things. But if you're wondering how I do it, this is how I do it. And you'll see how it turns out. Not perfect, but you know, it's better than nothing. And uh, it came out okay, I suppose. Like you'll see it, you'll see it. But watching this video back and seeing how uh, the Mariah Patty secret formula mock-up fit. Uh, I actually quite like it a lot more than I did when I made it. And so I'm thinking I might go back and figure out uh, the formula again, see how it fits on my body, actually put boning in it and see if that actually works. This is one part of my life that I do enjoy. Everything else is bullshit, but making YouTube videos and sewing clothes that's just a fun thing for me. Hopefully it will continue to be and hopefully my anhedonia doesn't like kick my butt too bad because this is the only way I get off the couch is making clothes. So this is where I'm taking my pattern that I made off my own body and my own draping and fixing it up and cutting it out of muslin. And honestly, I'm just kind of really annoyed looking back at this that I didn't just like stick with Mariah Patty's secret formula because that actually worked for people. Like she knows that it works for people. She talked to people about it and they figured it out and they made it and it worked for them. And so I'm just like, why didn't I stick with that? Like it, <laughs> it just took me so many more mock-ups to do this when I was draping on myself. And it, it's just so frustrating. And so, yeah, I think I am actually really going to go back and uh, do Mariah Patty's secret formula because that works. I, I know it works. She knows it works. It works for everybody that tries it. So it would have worked for me if I'd stuck with it. If I just made like a couple different adjustments, it would have been fine. And instead, I... <laughs> messed around and I did this whole thing and I really didn't need to but you know what we live and we learn and I shouldn't be too hard on myself but you know um it just means that I get to make more stays which is fantastic I'm really looking forward to making more stays and I'm really looking forward to like uh, making better stays and figuring it all out and doing what I can. And yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy. 
I started this project like a month and a half ago and it has been one of the most difficult experiences of my life. It really shouldn't be that hard considering I've seen so many people no, don't look at that. I've seen so many people like make corsets and make stays and yet making this was so difficult and I've only just gotten to the part where I've sewn it together as a mock-up. Like I'm not even at the final <laughs> sewing. I'm like still in the mock-up phase. It's so difficult. Oh, I think I'm gonna cry. I think I'm gonna cry. I know, it just looks ridiculous. That's not how it's supposed to look, is it? And this does not meet in the back, like at all. So here I am fixing my mistake. My mistake being uh, making stays from my own draping on my body and not actually using a proper formula. <laughs> so I'm just so angry. <laughs> so pissed off i know i'm laughing so i don't sound pissed off but i am i am uh i have that chronic condition where i laugh at things i shouldn't be laughing at i'm like the joker i am become the joker so i'm just cutting out the fixed up pieces of my pattern and making a new mock-up yet again another mock-up it is just so so many mock-ups and I don't know what to do with all of these mock-ups and sorry if I sound like I have a cold like I just have allergies so I I always sound like I have a cold uh that's just something you're gonna have to live with and I'm very 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 sorry about that so it's been like at least four days since I worked on this um I was talking to Jackie of Fantastical Follies uh another YouTuber on here on YouTube funnily enough and I told her that, you know, I'd been working on this a little bit and I was still struggling to get through it. And she gave me some really good advice, which was done is better than perfect. So with that in mind, <laughs> let's have a look at what is going on so far. I don't think it's right. My God, I friggin' sewed it wrong. I'm gonna make the final thing. No more adjustments. That's it. <laughs> That's it. It's done. Done is better than perfect. I'll get it done. I made this shift using a tutorial in Makaratua's Regency costume video, although she also makes a shift in one of the Princess in the Pauper videos she did. I'm trying to be cool and act like I haven't seen every one of her videos hundreds of times, but I have because she's a comfort watch for me and I have an obsessive personality. She's really cool, but don't worry, I don't care about meeting her or anything. I only want to meet characters from the long-running hit TV show Supernatural. And if you tell me I can't meet the characters because they're not real, you're lying to me, and I don't appreciate that. This household is one of truth and honesty, and we never lie to each other under my roof. So now go to your room and think about what you've done. Whenever I'm trying to do um, curves and stuff, it always like ends up doing this, and I can't stop it. If anyone knows how to stop that, please comment down below. I'm just like I'm just having trouble. It happens with a rolled hem as well. And I just am having a lot of trouble. <laughs> Please help. I don't know if you can see this, but yesterday I spent a good amount of time stitching elastic into the underbust seam thingy before realizing actually I have to take it all out because shifts don't have elastic in them. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to pick it all out, spent two hours doing that yesterday and today. But it shouldn't be seen because it's going to be under the stays, so. Baby's first shift. <laughs> I literally just have the grommets on this one side of my bodice to do, and then I'm done. <laughs> Oh my god, it's been two months. Two months of this. Oh well, not actually like two straight months of this because there's nothing straight about me. My wife is laughing at my joke. <laughs> oh my god, my brain is fried. Literally, I just have to do however many grommets this is. Six? 
six grommets and I've already done the grommets on the straps. I've already done one side. Uh, that's kind of a bit janky, but we'll forgive it. We'll forgive her. She's fine. She's doing her best. Other than that, that's it. And then I've done the shift. <coughs> I might end up sewing up that rip in the shift, but maybe not because I can't be bothered, but I probably, I will. I'll do it. No, I won't. Yes, I will. No, I won't. I will, but I'm not going to. Maybe I will. No, I, I won't, I won't. Yeah, I've, of course I will. Of course I'll do that. Oh my God, stop badgering me. Jesus, I'll do it. Yeah, and then my project is done and then I can model it for you. I have a, have a very specific way I want to model this instead of just standing on my balcony and being like, I don't know how to move. <sighs> so awkward. Let's do this thing. Let's round this meow. So this thing came in my grommet kit where you can actually press down on the fabric and it will cut a hole in the fabric, but I'm just not very good at doing that. And I think I need to like use a hard surface and with a hammer to actually do it. But uh, what I figured out was I can uh, like press down on the fabric and then it'll form like kind of a ring. And then I can just draw around that ring with a pen, which is my green pen right there. And then I can just cut out that hole and it makes perfect holes for the grommets. So that's pretty amazing. And I don't know how it took me this long to figure that out, but considering my track record with uh, life, uh, that's kind of actually on brand for me. Yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this video so far because I really, really enjoy making videos. Even if they don't get seen by millions of people, that's totally fine. There we go. It's all done. Uh, I'm going to try this on, but if you'd like to join me for a little skit I prepared called 18th century French peasant woman trapped in a room, let's go. Mon corps, it's been ten long years since I've seen your face. It's been ten long years since I've seen anything outside this room. Those years have wearied me. I stay strong knowing I shall once again gaze upon your beauty some day. My thoughts are consumed by the desire to leave, to be free once more, to frolic among the daisies as I once did. Fresh air is a luxury I am not allowed, even though the window is right there. Sunlight has been my only respite from this cruel torture. I know that every day I look at the sun, you are looking at it too. Please don't look too long, it might burn your eyes out. I keep busy, as you know, writing soliloquies on the walls, but not really because we are renting this apartment and I do not want to clean them. Every day I gaze at the door, wanting so desperately for it to open. Today the urge overcame me to rattle the bars of my cage. I reached out, grabbing a hold of the doorknob, my heart heavy with the knowledge that it would probably not open. But then, to my shock, it did! Oh, mon corps, I have been saved! What a wondrous day! I am finally able to breathe the fresh air! I can frolic once more! And all it took was someone unlocking the door when I wasn't looking. Maybe I was asleep, no one can possibly tell. Okay, au revoir! And there you have it, one pair of finished stays and a chemise. Uh, my final thoughts are, I love these stays so much and the chemise is so comfortable that uh, I think I'll just probably wear it as pajamas. <laughs> and I'll finally fix up the, the hole in it. I will, I will do that. I will do that. I don't want to rip it anymore. But the one problem I found is that my boobs kept up. <laughs> kept popping out of the stays and um yeah I don't know how to fix that so if uh maybe I should make the front taller and <laughs> I don't know if you have any thoughts on how to fix that by all means put it in the comments another problem is that I made the bodice too long like the the yeah I made the torso too long which I can fix in the next days. It's just that my, my torso is so short. It was really fun pretending to be an 18th century French peasant trapped in a room. So 
I hope you enjoyed it and if you don't please don't tell me <laughs> I'm so itchy from lying in the grass okay bye